sasa ukiendelea sasa mm. so ilikuwa je sasa azio so as, as, as you as you progress mm. una realize uh, like all businesses mm. kidogo siku za kwanza kwanza yeah. ama the first first years kuna revenue come through vile una expect come through mm. so at some point ilifika mimi nikatap out so niko na machines hata zilikuwa zinakaa keja kwangu so nikatap out kidogo went back to employment na sasa experience yako ilikuwa je sasa na hiyo sasa mambo za employment sasa employment is, mm. is it's, 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 it's not bad mm. but um, uh, nilikuja ku realize it's not for everyone yeah Hello viewers, welcome to the second episode of the journey. Today I am super excited to host one of the biggest sound system providers in the country. He has done weddings, corporate events, school bashes. In short, he is one of the people who has revolutionized the events business in Kenya. And this guy has a story. Ken Wanga. Yes. Karibu sana. Asante So that's before true, even we start, true. nataka kukuambia thank you for actually finding time to come yeah. to this show and it's i'm very very humbled unajua wewe ni msi uko very very busy kupatikana ni eh upatikani sana tuko busy weekends too sana sana tuko busy yeah but so normal weekdays at ko easy kidogo yeah so as we start eh wewe ni mtu uko na majina mingi sana i'm not very sure whether it's Ken Wanga Ken Oliech or Gas or Shindwa which is the real name mm, the real name yenye kwa kwa ID official ile kwa kwa ID ni Ken Wanga yeah Pamba is my surname yeah eh Oliech Oliech is a nickname ya mta mm. eh nilipatiwa Oliech jina Oliech by friends who used to play soccer with yeah eh that time nilikuwa nacheza ball kidogo and then mm. msia kasha out kwa tukio field kwa ground msia kasha ule boy anacheza kama Dennis Oliech Mm. and the name Oliech ika, ikashika from there that oh. is where Oliech came from yeah. and uh, Oga, Oga is a nickname from also friends yeah. and uh, it has its own story but yeah. <laughs> in short oh, i'm also called Oga jina tu ya mtaa but official official names zile ziko kwa ID ni Ken Wanga mm. yes yes eh yeah, nice so uh, unaweza tuambia maybe uh, kule ulizaliwa based on bad certificate yeah mm, bad certificate yangu inasema nilizaliwa embu yeah yeah in 1988 yeah I was born in embu then mzaya uh, kapigwa transfer uh, mandera so we went to mandera with mzaya and very small mm. uh, mandera i think nil stayed like uh, two years then mzaya kapigwa transfer na karusho kaka mega yeah Uh, so kakamega nilifanya my early life ya, ya, ya childhood and kasoma up to class one first term yeah. nilisoma kakamega then kakamembo tena yeah eh, no so i came to embo class one second term nili join a primary school called st michael na bayo oh okay yeah, yeah. na sasa hiyo movement haiko ina kuaffect ama hiyo ulikuwa very young ilikuwa mdogo sana hata singejua alafu na hiyo time pia uh, mm. uh, uh, kama unafanya kazi na gaba used to be given transfers now and then now and then oh yes yes it, so ilikuwa normal mzaya kipigwa transfer wapi tunahama naye tunaenda naye eh yeah, yeah. so eh, kitambo before now you started uh, interest ya sound mm. nini sasa ulikuwa ukifanya uh, interest ya sound nilianza kitambo kidogo yeah. but uh, as let me say as a hobby Yeah. Uh, collecting music uh, kwa ma tape yeah. collecting music kwa ma CD mm. uh, buying walkmans za kusikiza zako za muziki yeah. and uh, after form 4 went and did uh, a course yeah. in Moi university did hr okay I did hr nikakuja uh, na nika job na nika get to job job hapa not hr related but uh, za my ngos na before now mm. u, ufanye uende kufanya hr mm au kwa already umeanza kupata ile interest ya kuweka business ya sound haikuwa really deep in me eh? yeah. but nilikuwa nafanya kama ah bora do ina kama yeah eh, bora na na, na, na get ka, ka gig kadogo used to go pick sound from i used to, i knew connections ya sound from very early eh, eh ni kana msewa sound and ki observe to I'll get things then do your research na nikaiva so eh, i assume hiyo time kuna place ulikuwa unafanya maybe Yo, yo, time, yo time yo time nilikuwa kulikuwa na 
a guy called Joji kulikuwa na chalo joji.com .com was the f- I, i think the first guy ku kwanza rental sound in embu oh okay eh, so mm-hmm. udo msemu kunaenda unachukua speaker zake unaenda yeah. nazo job eh, unajibakishia una thao yeah. unampati hiyo do nyingine eh yeah. mm-hmm. so that is how i started but siku yangali ni kama ni biashara mimi naifanya kimimi yeah. but i was good at it at that time yeah yes yes, yes. Na before then sasa kama sasa tuseme hiyo time yote ulikuwa unasema ulianza kuwa uh, class 4 kuna mm. sound nini. Hii time yote ukisoma kuna ulikuwa unataka kuwa nini in uh, uki grow up. <laughs> Ndio nimekuwa vitu mobile. <laughs> <laughs> nimekuwa vitu mobile sana niki grow up. Eh. Ani kimaliza class hii nilikuwa nataka kuwa pilot. Eh. Lakini sasa unajua pilot lazima ya grade inaongea kidogo. Yeah. Eh, so I think dream was to go to a school ambayo inaweza anza kusoma piloting as early as possible yeah but hiyo uh, ikuweza so i went to ngovio boys si ngovio boys bado watu wa ngovio boys hey, kaibu watu walikuwa matop <laughs> <laughs> sikatai <laughs> lakini kufika ngovio boys uh, nika drift away from that oh okay. uh, nika drift mm. away from that and then why i did hr i did hr uh, more of nilikuwa be- nataka kuwa in charge of people oh, okay unajua uh, hr is all about hiring firing uh, appraisals mm. Uh, eh, na hiyo vitu yote. So mm. ni uh, gain interest ya kuwa HR ni kwa form 3. Okay. Eh, form 3. Wow, hiyo ni kitambo. Yeah. Na sasa before ufanye hizo kuna vitu zingine nilikuwa na nilikuwa nafanya like dancing. Eh, after yeah. after form 4, unajua yeah. after form 4 you have a, a, a lot of extra time ya kufanya fanya tu vitu here and there. Oh, okay. So I became a dancer at some point. Uh, mm. also became an MC. Yeah because MC when I started doing MC uh, seriously yeah. that's the time ambayo nili gain interest ya ya ko do what I'm doing right now okay uh, that's the time I realized ah e- event industry kuna do mm. this stuff inaweza ku sustain yeah. yes so I, I started gaining interest from there na sasa ukiwa dancer uko na fikiria probably you can make money out of dancing uh, I think nikale kadi kajoto tuka kutoka form 4 because yeah. <laughs> because if I can remember kuna time we dance for nilikuwa eh, nianza kudansia ma artist. Na tulikuwa tunaanza tu jaskata nilikuwa tunaanza but nilikuwa nianza ku make do. Kidogo kidogo at that time. Oh. That time oh. unlike now mm. now dancing inaweza sema iko na do. Mm. Eh uh, your time iko na do sana. Ndio industry ilikuwa mm. inaanza wase kuanza ku embrace dancers kwa videos. Yeah. So it didn't pay well. Nyingi hata nilikuwa nafanya zilikuwa sare. Oh okay. Mm. Mnafanya tu for free msanii anakwambia eh ni haja niko na niko na ka, ka video shoot so mnaenda mnapiga eh mnampigia video shoot tu free. Hapo kidogo ama ananunua lunch. Mm. Na so as we started growing mm. sisi wote wasio kanza ku, ku grow into other fields uh, we had a guy called Ken a good friend of mine he aka grow into design yeah na kaishia Nairobi na ndio anafanya mpaka leo oh okay. uh, chuma na aka grow into something uh, a friend called Chuma grew into something else au ndio tuko nafanya nao dancing oh uh, so we grew in different fields na tuka part ways that is how dancing ili iliisha in, in my life lakini tukiweka music hapo una dance vibaya yeah. sana. Mbaya yeah. sana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you stop dancing yeah. kwa mostly uko kwa kwa MC. Yeah. MC mm. nilianza MC wa products, product MC. Mm. Up to up to today I, I know I'm a good uh, product MC. It, mm. Someone kuuza product yako utauza product yako. Eh. Yeah. Uh, you used to joke na set tunasema tunauza hewa. Eh. Yeah. Uh, but uh, una convince someone that kuna phone iko hapa ndani na mm. yeye yeah, anahitaji so akama bye. Yeah. And guys to come. Oh yeah so hizo mm. time tulikuwa ni kwa MC wa hizi simu za China ndio zilikuwa zimetokea soko zile. Kumbuka that time smartphone za China zile tulikuwa na hizo simu za China zilikuwa zimeanza kuja soko. Eh yeah. so used to kuna wale wasa walikuwa nazunguka from town to town mm. wakienda wakiuza in market during market days. Mm. So unakuta mse mmoja anakuchukua na kwambia ni aje leo tuende tukauze simu. Yeah. Eh, so wewe unaenda unapiga kelele yako pale you get 500 bob you get 1000 shillings mm. and nika grow nika grow hivyo kwa hiyo industry tu pole pole. Oh yes yes. So you find a very big uh, events za QMC. Uh later on pole pole as yeah. you grow. Uh, uh, but uh, kwanza lazima uanze chini. Uh, uh, Always kufanya events kubwa kabla ujaanza ujaanza down. Na sasa uliacha GMC ukaingia into sound. Now ukiwa mm-hmm. pale you realize that uh una make do. Uh, but how make do? Uh, I, I don't know if kama unaelewa. Uh, but you make do na make do ni kumaanisha hivi machine zenye unaenda nazo job eh. sio zako oh yeah nimechukua yeah. mahali eh. so unaenda unakuta pale uh, mm. nimelipisha assume 5000 shillings yes but mimi nitaenda home na thao mm. so nimetengeza huyo msee 4000 safi yeah. na yeye kuna kitu amefanya alinipatia tu speaker mbili na kaamp nikaenda nako eh. nikaenda eh. nako job 
Mm. So nika realize uh, nimekuwa na passion hii staff kwa kitambo but uh, sikuwa najua nitai channel aje na nitachukua field gani ndio nianze ku make do out of it. Yeah. So nika realize doing doing events and hiring out sound is a niche ambayo bado haijakuwa utilized in, yeah. in Embu. Mm. So that is how I started. Yes, I started so get capital ya ku buy sound from MC. No, 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 no. Yeah. And I nearly get uh, at that time when I was uh, 20 around 23. Yeah. 23. Eh. Yeah. Nika get uh, kuna ka job fulani tuliokuwa tume apply ka Sudan kwenda Sudan. Yeah. So went to Sudan a contract of 6 months tukaipiga. Yeah. Kumaliza which I could shafit ilisha because kulikuwa na vita in Sudan. Yeah. Came back home mm. and uh, since nilikuwa nime okota okota kado kiwango fulani yeah. I was able to, to to purchase some equipment kidogo speaker mbili mm. a laptop an mm. amplifier a mixer yeah. uh, wiring zake na sasa nikaanza nikijua sasa now it's fully me if i'm uh, making a thousand bob it's me making a thousand bob if i'm making 10000 it's me making 10000 oh. because now niko na equipment zangu i don't need to go and hire out from somewhere else na nini sasa ilifanya uache what you likuwa na duka decide uache uende sudan uh, Greener pastures. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. greener pastures, yeah. yeah. Because uh, Sudan ilikuwa na kama deal kiti. Oh, okay. Uh, we were working for World Food Program to distribute food ku, to schools. Very simple work. Kuchukua food kwa store, kupeleka kwa mashule, kuagawia food na to do a report about the same. Yeah. So ilikuwa program ya WFP inaitwa Food for Education. Yeah. So we are giving schools food to encourage children to come and learn because kuna lunch. Uh, Shule na provide lunch, yeah. na provide lunch. Yeah, so yeah. Ma, ma, uh, students wana kama wanasoma then lunch time kuna food shule na wapatia and then af- in the afternoon they can go home. Mm. Yes. So that's the pro- project ambayo tunafanya my world food program in in South Sudan. So kama deal ilikuwa poa ulikaa 6 months. Yes yes yes. yes, yes. Mbona uli design kurudi si ukikaa huko basi kama <laughs> eh, kama deal iko poa sudi kulianza vita. Oh. Uh, zile vita zao zile. So kuka kuwa kuko safe for us. So mdosi wetu at that time akatuambia uh, because vita kuna fununu za vita you can go home and uh, if kuta settle and you want to come back you can re reapply and you can we will still consider you when you when you reapply. Oh, okay. Yeah, so hiyo ndio ilifanya nika come home. Na ukufikiria tena ku reapply. Sikufikiria ku reapply because sasa uh, nimeanza biz mm. nishane ndo watu watu vitu wangu. So bado niko na ile nataka kushikilia ka brand ni nianze nako nione how far it can go yeah so that is when i registered audio pro and uh, started running with it pole pole to in its own small capacity oh yeah so by the time we ende urudi eh, si ulipata challenges pia za kuanza ku get clients challenge like any other business iko mm. eh, zilikuwa yeah. kulikuwa na wale maver tarant tayari wako shajenga jina eh. so unakuja like an underdog Eh. try ku, ku, kuinuka pia wewe ukuwe kwa soko uko na kashe yako kidogo yeah. yeah so basically that was one of the challenges mm. na pia the fact that pia mimi si wa area oh okay. eh, mimi ni mimi msewa kukama eh. eh, so kabla wasewa mimi ni msewa kukama naweza fanya kitu fiti eh. it really took some 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 time kabla wasewa embrace uh, mm. ile job tunafanya so uh, as we go back kidogo mm. ukitoka uh, south sudan ulikam na ulikam na do and kam na do also that uh, amount of money ilikuwa poa ya kubai sound eh, ilikuwa enough Ni, nilikuwa the, walikuwa natulipa 50 eh. walikuwa natulipa poa <laughs> eh. yeah, because uh, equivalent at uh, that time yeah. ilikuwa equivalent kama ya 80k oh, eh. convert sudanese pound into kenya shillings ilikuwa kam, kama 80000 oh, per month eh. so I, i was able to hiyo kapiro nilikuwa pale nilikuwa able ku, ku make savings ya 350000 wow eh, 350k eh. Nikona eh. nikona skin kuna do ba hiyo ndio mpaka za hiyo ni do hata kama back then ilikuwa yeah, yeah, a lot, of, a lot money. of money yeah. by the way because i came and then after a week mm. ndio nikaingia Nairobi Luthuli eh. bought two speakers the PV bought eh. an amplifier bought a laptop eh. na nilikuwa good to go sasa oh eh, okay. tuanze hustle sasa eh. Eh. ukasema u take your risk sasa and take to your risk sasa because ni kitu na, napenda alafu napenda machine sana Yeah. I'm always constantly uh, improving myself because yeah. technology na change technology ki change mm. una badilika nayo so at that time uh, sister son, I was among the first people who knew a fully made speaker kitambo sasa walikuwa na assemble yeah. so when we speak iko na brand iko na label so wow. nilikuwa najisikia kidogo yeah. nimefika kidogo 
na definitely the quality ilikuwa better than ilikuwa better ilikuwa eh, way better yes ilikuwa so at better. least hiyo ilikupatia ka mileage yes ka mileage kiasi oh yes yes, yes. so yeah. ebu niambia sasa ukianza sasa how was it now that yeah. ushaanza sasa sound <laughs> so like the first client first client mm. first client alikuwa uh, wase wa county oh okay. because uh, wase wa county walikuwa wanafanya work yeah. through a program called emboluf iluf iko inaitwa iluf Ilu. They were doing a walk a uh, sensitization walk from their offices yeah. to stadium. Yeah. So alikuwa nataka speaker mbili ambazo tunaweza funga juu ya pickup yao and then uh, ka generate huko nyuma and then we do like a mini road show like kutoka hapo kwa ofisi zao mpaka mpaka study yeah. and they paid me something oh. something small. Walipiga yeah. ngiri tano na nilikuwa nasikia hero sana. Nimetoka jana kuchukua mashini na leo leo ziko job. Oh, so it yeah. was really it was a, a nice beginning for me yeah. in party a lot of encouragement. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Now I'm very sure uh, when you like your job. I will like job yeah. because uh, after that fear walikuwa clients wangu several, severally up to, up to date, up to date. Yeah. Uh, kuna some big projects ambazo and small projects ambazo wakifanya. Mm. Uh, I'm usually involved at a, uh, at some point. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So from there now ukaanza kupata So from there sasa unajua vile una kidu job fit yeah. inajiuza. Eh uh, kipele uh, ukikuletea uh, sound kwa we don't know iko fit uh, utakuta one two people ambao kwa hiyo harusi yeah. wanakuja eh hey, unakuanga embo eh hey, mm. uh, sound fit naweza ku book siku fulani fulani so nikaanza ku create my own network of clients from there mm. yes na saa hiyo time unapea na sound bado unafanya MC nikifanya sound nilikuwa nafanya MC but MC yangu siko nafanya MC ya ya mawedo oh yeah nilikuwa nafanya mm. MC ya um, just products products yeah. products eh, yeah. unataka some unataka tuuze nini unataka tuuze eh, mashati kuna boutique unataka nikuuzie mashati yeah. eh, unalipa kanjo mimi naika speak hapo mbele ya boutique yako na tuna yeah. advertise mashati mbaya yeah. eh, so wasao kikamin kuchekizo mashati ukiulizia bei wasao unajua kuna mm. product fulani iko hapo either they buy ama tayari they know that wakitaka kitu fulani unaweza pata money fulani fulani na siku hizi ni kama na unanga like uh, watu wana record eh, mtu akiongea ni kama ka voice over yes, alafu yes, anaweka yes, yes. Yeah. Kwanza so, kuna sauti hiyo eh. ni shortcut. Yeah. Na hiyo ni kuwa Atlanta. Oh yeah. Because at the end of the day, mm. let, let me ask you. Mm. Uli, uliingia studio ukapigiwa hiyo recording. Eh. eh Ukachajiwa 2000. Fanya hiyo recording, sio? Mm. Eh. Na wewe msata mm. atatumia hiyo voice yako? Eh. For how many years? By the way kama Nairobi kuna watu unasikia gani? Eh. Unasikia hii sao, hii sauti iko kila mahali Nairobi. Yes. So eh. wewe watakupiga 2K ufanye hiyo mm. recording. Mm. And then yeye anabaki na na sauti yako. Sidio? Yeah rather than uh, vile ilikuwa before mm. well, if, if it's an mc uh, ni job ni job yeah. ni job ukitokea tu pale kama wewe ni mc ukupiga hiyo kelele uh, the, those days you were being given a thousand bob yeah. ama 1500 shillings yeah. kwa, kwa wale ukupata client fit you know get yeah. so una imagine right now una that industry i'm seeing because unafanya voice over yeah. unapeana una wewe msana shinda akiplay tu hiyo staff mbele ya duka yake each and every day wewe wewe uko home ile tuke ulitumia na iniisha eh yeah, by the way yeah, yeah. ulitumia na ikaisha yeah. uh, hata kama ni ngiri tano ulitumia na ikaisha yet mm. anaweza kuweka hapo kila siku every day wewe ukikuja una make do yako una make do yako and you grow yourself in that mm. industry ya ku MC because it's an industry on its own eh yeah. yeah. na hii time sasa unafanya unafanya sound mm. pia ulikuwa unafanya kwa maharusi Eh yeah, nafanya maharusi. Oh so ilikuwa unafanya every event. Any event ambayo yeah. inahitaji sound system. Mimi oh. ni Rwanda. Ikuwe barrio, ikuwe harusi, ikuwe rorashio. Yeah. Uh, ikuwe product promotion. Yeah. Anything ambayo inahitaji sound. Yeah. Mimi nilikuwa ndani. Oh nice. Yeah. Haya so ukiendelea sasa. Mm. So ilikuwa aje sasa azio. So, so as, as, as you as you progress mm. una realize uh, like all businesses mm. kidogo siku za kwanza kwanza yeah. ama the first first years kuna revenue come through vile una expect it come through mm. so at some point ilifika mimi nika tap out so niko na machines hata zilikuwa zinakaa keja kwangu so nika tap out kidogo went back to employment yeah eh, nika nika rudi tena kwa ma CV rota good CV nika apply job ya JSK nikapata job ya van sales rep Glaxo Smith Klein kuuza Panado Aqua Fresh na Ino Eh yeah. yes so tulikuwa nazunguka from town to town tukipelekea retailers products uh, zikiwa kwa van nyuma mali ikisha tunarudi tunachukua kwa warehouse tunarudi soko wow. so i did it from 2014 2015 and 2016 sawa so, watu wakikupigia wanakuitisha sound unawaambia sasa hapo unakuwa mjanja eh yeah. 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 unakuwa yeah. mjanja because always ya chile hustle because inalipa fiti pia yeah. vile unakuta ina month ungepata job kama mbili eh yeah. unaona Eh. so i always ni sustain vile ninge expect mm. so i used to 
to make sure nikipata job ya sato hiyo wiki najipush na make sure by the time nafika friday nimeweza commit sales zangu za hiyo wiki unaona yeah. nikisha meet sales za hiyo wiki because kwa van tulikuwa three guys yeah nikisha meet sales zangu za hiyo wiki mimi na doji mm. na hepa job na chama boys wanashikilia hiyo siku ya si mimi nisha target yangu hiyo siku yeah. na chama wanashikilia and then me go na 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 na, na, na nachukua mat na kamembu yeah. na, na satisfy client wangu ikigonga sunday si event ya sato gonga yeah. sunday morning yeah. mimi nimepanda mat nimerudi na join my boys lakini nisha make some extra cash side nyingine even oh. on survive oh so bado yes. audio pro iko so audio pro iko issue but ilikuwa haiko juu mm. yeah, the name was there but ilikuwa very, ilikuwa chini kidogo yeah. Yeah, ilikuwa chini kidogo because natokea nat- mara moja moja tu nikipata job ndio natokea yeah. yes 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 na sasa experience yako ilikuwaje sasa na hiyo sasa mambo za employment sasa employment is, is it's, it's is is not bad mm. but um, uh, nilikuja ku realize it's not for everyone yeah yes it's not for everyone so me, nilichoka Yeah. nilichoka juu ya pressure nilichoka juu ya uh, ma, leo umeuza fiti kesho umeuza mbaya mdosi hataki kujua historia jana uliuza poa e, ni target ya leo kwa nini hujafika yeah. so nika realize uh, uh, spendi ku handle such pressure yeah. it's too much for me it's too much for me yeah. and you're, you're putting a lot of effort kwa kwa job ya umse kumekia sales eh, unamekia sales na tukona make sales fit eh. tu mara moja moja tu kawaida kuna siku eh. ya kuteleza eh. but una make sales but yeye atambui hiyo ni kila siku ni pressure ni pressure ni hiyo 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 so mimi mimi nilikuit job ya sales lazima eh. kuna pressure riwa kabisa lazima kuna pressure riwa eh iko so, na pressure eh, mimi yeah. tap out na mm. nikaambia ma boys ah mimi ile effort naika kwa job ya umse nikaweka the same effort kwa busy yangu mm. ita ita come through Oh, okay. itakam through. Yeah. So mi nakumbuka ni kwetu job tukiwa Kiambu, nikaacha fungo za gari na my boys na nikapiga mdosi ngombe mimi naenda home. Wacha tunishi home nijifikirie, kama vitu wacha nini nijifikirie, you want to come back nitakusho. Kaniambia haina noma. We take a week. Uh, Ukipata uh, want to come back, we well, utarudi. Eh. Yeah. Hey, na nika left group hiyo. Yeah. <laughs> so nikakaa sasa eh, ni wewe, ni wewe. That was 2016. Yeah. Eh, around July. Around July. Yeah. Yeah. around July. So came back. Sasa anza chukua ile uh, audio pro uliko na ruka ruka nayo. Sasa ishikilie kama the main thing na una yeah. nayo. Mm. So that is when I started audio pro seriously. 2016. Oh. 2016. Yeah, yeah. So una serve ni umekuja sasa na bado uliacha ili ulikuwa unaona iku sustain your time mm. ukienda mm-hmm. ukienda ku for employment. Yeah. So when you rudi sasa did things become better ama bado trend challenge? Yoyo. <laughs> trend hiyo hiyo by the way. Trend haja <laughs> change. <laughs> the trend is the same. Mm. But at least kuna kuna growth wacha yeah. niseme kuna growth mm. because hesabu zangu zilikuwa nikaweza pata gig moja yeah. kama ni wedo moja itanisortia rent itanisortia food mm. unaona niko na kadem sasa hiyo naweza at least naweza kapeleka out kidogo yeah. mm. so at that time uh, it was way better way better because nikipata job moja tu ya wedo na niweze ku charge like 15k ama 20k Yeah. Na na for that month hata kama sitapata job nyingine yeah. niko in safe niko in safe hands. Oh. Nitaweza kulipa hao nitaweza ku sustain ka life kango at that at that at that moment. Yeah. So kaende kaende. So target ilikuwa tu pata tu job mo, job mm. moja. Hizi zingine wewe tafuta tu ni za marupurupu. Tafuta yeah. tu tafuta tafuta. And then jobs ikaanza ku come. Jobs ikaanza ku come. Pole pole because 20 around 2018 2018 ndio vitu zilianza kufunguka vizuri. So ukiwa 2016 uli come 2016 uh, July. Yeah July. So hiyo July yeah hiyo ni hiyo mwaka ikaisha ukaingia 2017. Na unasema vitu zilianza ku come poa 2018. Yeah, 2018 sasa ndio una realize now ukaenda mahali kwa hata kwa committee ya wedo au unasikia jina audio pro inatajwa. Oh. Tuko na harusi tuna propose wale wasa watawa provide sound system mm. na cameras tunasikia mm. mtu mmoja uko na anasema kuna wasa wetu audio pro na wafanya job poa. Oh. Nelo. Yeah. You are a photographer na unajua pia uwa ina ina feel fit sana uki realize kwa committee jina yako imetajwa mahali. Na hata kama ukukua unaambia eh ni aje tulikuwa committee na tulisikia ukitajwa jina lako. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. So hapo ndio tukaanza ku great clientele wa weddings. Yeah. Uh, because weddings ndio zili tu zimetuinua sana. Hapo ndio tumecreate pia network ya clients wengi. Oh yeah. Eh, na marurasho. Yeah. Na bado sasa ulikuwa na zile zile bado equipments. Eh, nilikuwa na zile zile equipment. Oh, huko ume upgrade. Siko ume upgrade anything. 
So the whole speaker, of 2016. Nikuwa speaker mbili. Nikuwa speaker mbili viti sana. Mids. Na na survive nazo. Hey, mids. Yeah. So nikipata kaji obu kana itaji bez. I used to go and uh, pick bez from Chalo. Oh. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. Chalo, Chalo. Waldcom. Uh, Waldcom. Uh, He's a yeah. good friend back of mine. Up to date. Up to date. Yeah. Yes, is niko naenda kwake. Yeye alikuwa kidogo alikuwa anaka pesa. So alikuwa amenunua uh, a bit of more equipment kuniliko. Eh. Yeah. Uh, because in, alikuwa one of the pioneers pia wa kuleta sound system in Embu. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. A sound for hire. Yeah. So nikipata job ya to base naenda kwake nachukua to base twili yeah. na kimbia nato job lakini unajua client ajui ni za ni, ni client ajui ni zangu. Yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day. So na create nilika create jina tu hiyo pole pole and then I started upgrading myself from 2019. Oh from 2019, 2019 sasa. 2019 ndio sasa nikakuja nika get sabufa mbili. Yeah. Eh nika yeah. nikaongeza tu vitu kidogo kidogo pale to lights to wheel. Yeah. Yes yes yes. Wewe basi it take a long time before you uweze ku yeah, upgrade. Yeah. Alafu pia unajua equipment zetu mm. ni expensive number one. Yeah. Na yeah. number two, mm. eh servicing ya equipment zetu pia iko juu. Mm. Okay. Na pia lazima ubalance. Life yako isisimame. Yeah na biashara bado isonge yeah. so you, you try to balance everything ikwe, ikwe, well balanced here yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Hey, so let's 2019 see. ndio yeah. tusub tuile tukakaa sasa nikakuwa na ushujaa nikipata job tunaenda bila wasiwasi na sasa from hiyo ta- now 2016 mm. to by the time of figure 2019 yeah, yeah. so how was it ulipata any challenges challenges ilikuwa because job si mob oh bado hazikuwa zimekuwa eh yeah, bado hajakuwa mob eh yeah. yeah, bado hajakuwa mob lakini like, unajua tu akipata ah, job moja utasurvive your month huko na ile vision unataka yeah, ile vision ku stick up or grow yes 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 alafu yeah. pia uh, i'm a part time graphic designer oh i do graphic yeah. design yeah. so wakati hii pande ya events imesota kidogo mm. na ingia na niko kwa field ya graphic design where by yeah. niko na clients pia wa graphic design na bado yeah. uko kwa kwa mc bado niko kwa mc nikipata job ya mc oh yes 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 Wow, okay sasa. Yeah. So wewe uko tu uko kwa events but uh, time events iko chini up to mm. today. Uh, mm. Events zetu nyingi utushika Friday, Saturday and Sundays. Mm. Zile mob yeah, uh, yeah. apart from zile kawaida zinaweza tokea katikati ya wiki. But zile nyingi ndako kwa Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So when when I'm not doing uh, uh, events, unanipata kwa graphic design. Eh. Yeah. Na sasa hii period hakuna mm. time will feel ama ama ni rudi job tena. Uanze ku apply. Ah uh, Siko feel because nikikuit niki the uh, 2016 nikikuit mm. ile job previous job yango yeah uh, nilikamna ni, ni nikaambia god hii hii hi ni mbaya mbaya yeah. so ni delete hata scanned copies za cv scanned oh. copies za documents kwa laptop yani ni, at no point ni siko tempted na kama nitakuwa tempted nikumaanisha i'll start from scratch yeah. kuandika cv mpya na kwenda ku scan documents so by the time nasema nifanye hizo vitu zote Yeah. Uh, Wanaji recall back. Najiuliza muda una quit saa hii kweli urudi employment tena. Vumilia tu hapo hapo. Yeah. Yes. So hiyo ndio imekuwa ikinipush tu. Nakushita. Mimi nilifuta CV zangu. Sina CV yote hata kwa laptop yangu sasa hivi kuja hakuna. Hakuna sina anything ya ku apply job. Na kuna watu walikuwa na ku discourage wanakuambia mwanzi wewe tafuta umesoma umeenda kampo. Discouragement ziko. Discouragement yeah. ziko kidogo. Yeah. Yeah. Kuna time kidogo hata hata mzaya kana eh utatoboa ama utarudi wera yeah naona alafu um nikio 25 i think around nikio 20 25 around nikio mimi ninge kdf eh i mean ninge tu kdf uko unasikia kuna do eh but it came fire so ukakuwa una mbio nilikuwa sasa si kwa na mbio si mbio exactly ile una kwa angalia mbio eh tuseme tu ili back fire acha tuishi hapo acha tuishi hapo yeah so nika nika apply a passport mm. sometime back niko niende dubai zile wera wase wenda dubs yeah. uh, that was before 2016 before 2016 yeah mm. yeah after 2016 discouragement bado tuni hizo za uh, mwezi unasota uh, unasikia ah mimi yeah. but una hang in there yeah. just hang in there yeah. because kuna mwezi nayo una, unaweza tengeneza do fit yeah. so ina, ina cover for those months yeah. yeah so ku feel ni kama una give up any any time who give up lazima give up buda yeah. eh lazima give up yeah. hata sasa zingine mpaka saa hii unasikia ngani kama unaweza give up oh yeah eh, but yeah. Uh, unajua sisi ni wanadamu na, na sometimes life iko bend kidogo yeah. uh, una una feeling ni kama mimi mimi naweza acha stuff yeah. lakini when you ask yourself the question that tunaacha niende wapi yeah eh naacha niko na niko na mabois wa aina wanantegemea yeah. tunaacha tuende wapi oh yeah eh, you wake up every day 
na maboys ukimaanisha waine ni employees. employees yeah. Oh, ni kuna watu wanaweza fikiri ni sana. Ni kuna two, no no no. Ni kuna yeah. two, two permanent staff. Yeah. Na ni kuna two casuals. Yeah. Eh. Oh, permanent staff hawa kwa salo. Mm. Eh, casuals ni job ikam lazima tuone nao. Job ikam lazima tuone nao. Oh, so already umefika mahali umesha employ wa sasa. Niko na wasi, niko na wasi. Na wao uli, ulianza ku employ 2016 bado. Uh, the first one ali come on board 20 2019. Yeah. Eh, 2019 ndio Arthur ali come. Oh. Eh, we started yeah. with Arthur, busy ka mm. grow ka grow ka grow to kaleta Joshu. Eh. Yeah. Uh, Joshua come on board. Mm. Eh, ka grow ka grow to kaleta Shalif. Eh. Yeah. Eh, Shalif is our electrician. Uh, ka grow ka grow to kaleta Melvo. Yeah. Yes, so we are four guys plus me. Kwa watano. Na hii busy yenu itaki ladies. Uh, ni ni vile ni ni busy set itaki ladies. Ni 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 busy iko tasking sana in terms of uh, kutumia nguvu. Mm. Iko na a lot of lifting, iko na a lot of uh, uh, kuinua kubeba, kuinua kubeba because machines ni mzito, iko na a lot of uh, long hours of work. Oh. So uh, working with uh, men is slightly easier than uh, working with uh, ladies if uh, such situations or oh, kuna nga job uh, raisi for a lady anaweza kuna job raisi yeah. when tuko na job raisi watu wanapea ladies sana mm. eh, kama unakuta kuna unaweza pata client ambaye anakuambia anataka sound mm. na anataka pia ushers kwa oh, event yake okay. so unakuta yeah. kama hizi corporate events mm. uh, tule to demo vafiti tukupea flyers tukaribisha wageni hapo yeah. ndio watu wanatumia mostly wasichana oh yes yes, yes. because pia hizo jobs watu wanageta sana So unafanya ngapaka sharing? Yeah, tunafanya anything that involves events mm. from setup uh, to design. Mm. Pia kama una idea event yako unataka ikaaje, una come kwetu we can share ideas. Yeah. Because we have done so many events and we are in the events field and yeah. our passion is to, to make events zako your events to look lively at the end of the day. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So kuna mali ulifika uka, ukapata maybe kuna watu wanataka ku come and partner na eh, wa partners wa audio pro yeah we, we, uh, um, paka leo mm. but uh, still no mm. i don't i don't want our audio pro kwa na any other platform apart from me or my guys yeah. we still don't know about it we talk yeah. so we, we, we said uh, we will work ourselves to the top yeah uh, we we'll work ourselves to the top uh, kuna kuna other shortcuts uh, getting say and as a common invest do na cc mm. but it it aitakuwa it aitakuwa cc Yeah, aita kwa sisi. Yeah. So uh, for now, for now ni sisi audio pro, audio pro. Oh, uh, don't want anyone to come on board. Oh, okay. okay. So that is uh, tumefika kwa 2019. Mm. 2019 hapo ndio uli uli buy more sound. 2019 tuka buy more equipment. Yeah. 2020 came uh, COVID. COVID. Covid eh. kakam. Eh. <laughs> Covid. <laughs> so ikawa chapa ama ili Covid uh yeah. For me covid wasn't a the, the covid year wasn't a bad year. It, it was actually a an, a very big and a very nice year for us. Mm. Eh ili ili bend sana wa events. But um, unlike other places in Embu we were allowed to do small small events. Oh okay. Eh no joe time ya covid wase wengi Oh yeah. So covid we basically capitalized on barriers. Eh uh, barrels to get barrels mobs and mobs and what uh, we used to get like two barrels in a week the whole year no 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 mm. between actually let's say to twitter almost the whole year eh ilikuwa kuna week tungeka week bila barrel what eh alafu sana tuliji package the nice vile ukikam tukikuja kwa barrel yako tunakam the sanitizers tunakuja na tunaweza sanitize mic Eh uh, tuko tuko dressed up well tuko na masks sisi wenyewe uh, pia uh, pia tulikuwa tunasaidia hata hata wenye event uh, pale, pale kwa gate kusanitize wase uh, so client aki get service fit hata uh, ku recommend yeah unaelewa uh, mtakuja pale kwa hiyo barrel ali rest ai ah sio anafanya job poa uh, so anachukua namba pale so tuka uh, create network ya clients wa barrels that year that way na pia tuli get clients wengi sana uh, around pia uh, June, July August karibia uh, Safcom wa come on board Safko yeah. mwaka on board kuna project walikuwa wanafanya ya kuruzunguka kwa masoko. Yeah. So wanaenda kama si Chicago market wana set up ka tent wanauzia hizi phone za kulipa pole pole. Tulikuwa tunafanya neon kicker. It was neon kicker that time. Oh, okay. Eh, so unalipa deposit kidogo and then you pay 20 bob every day every day mpaka umaliza kulipa hiyo phone. So hiyo yeah. time ndio walikuwa wanaanza project be serious. 
Mm. So katupatia contract ya 6 months. Yeah. So every week we have to go to a, a marketplace. Kiritire, yeah. Siakago, uh, Kirinyaga County tukizunguka, yeah. huko juu tukipanda tukizunguka. We did a project of 6 months na Safaricom. Every week like 2 3 days. Yeah. Yes. So hiyo ilitushikilia 2020 na pia 2020 pia ndio tukaweza ku make some big investments because doyo ilikuwa inakampoa. Oh. Eh, doyo ilikuwa inakampoa. So we just to go home. Eh, yeah. So hii 2020 ndio some libay libay more sound. So to to libay more equipment. Yeah. That is in terms of um, uh, in terms of amplifiers in terms of uh, tukongeza speakers kidogo. Mm. And then 2021 When 2020 came ndio tulinwa sasa the high end equipment zenye zimetuweka kwa spotlight sana yeah the liner speakers na some lizi get aje huko Kenya tu bado no eh yeah. so liner speakers uh, ku, ku, kuzibai bought them from china na kado kidogo uh, nilikuwa nime nime get from zai ni luzi ya mzai kashamba fulani Oh okay. Nikon meno kashamba before I had a piece of land one acre bought up a kiritire 200,000. Oh. Eh nilikuwa nalipia tu pole pole during that period 2017 2018 nilikuwa namaliza kulipa. Hiyo sasa venye uliko uli ulitoka job sasa ukakuja kwa job. Eh kufanya tu events nilikuwa nakipata 10,000. Nilikuwa nalipa 10,000 every month kwa mzai mpaka nikamaliza kulipa kwa kashamba. Eh yes kiritire 10,000 every month for mpaka 200 kulikuwa na deposit ama ni kulikuwa na deposit ya so and then kulikuwa na lipa 10k 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 mpaka nikamaliza hata saa zingine nilikuwa naruka mwezi mmoja jua ndio imepotea but mpaka nika clear so 2021 mzai alikuwa anaenda retire so mzai alikuwa anaenda retire anatafuta mali akona pesa kale ka pension so ananiambia eh ni aje tunaweza fanya nini nikamwambia ah mimi tena kuna kashamba nilinunua mali ananiambia mama yako jeani anambia Ebu tuna tukaone so we went looked at the land mzaya kai like akane mza ah naweza mfanyia how much eh yeah. ngombe labda 320 eh yeah. eh na kanipiga hiyo do aliandika yeah. tulienda naye cop bank alinifanya tu transfer hiyo do what yes can transfer hiyo do yeah. i still have the bank slip hiyo nini ya yeah. hiyo yeah, transfer yeah. so uh, decided let me buy a pro box mm. ya yeah, kupiga sindi kuna speaker ine niko na biz ine yeah. sana so, at least naweza pata kitu ya kunisaidia kukimbia kimbia job hapa na pa hapa yeah. na pale But uh, nikiwa home nikijifikiria after doing some shopping ya yeah, Probox nikajiulizaje 350 na uko na savings kadogo uko nako kana karibu nilikuwa na around 480 yeah eh yeah. uwekele tu kwa Probox kweli na alafu upige tu aka sound kadogo yeah. kitu kanambia hapana passion yako na ndoto yako ni kubwa mm. so fanyaje leta machines kutoka China yeah kanza shopping Yeah. and shopping machines from china yeah. and kapata brand fit specs poor mm. and order eight pieces zika eh zika 2021 sasa eh yeah. eh zika from china zika come uh, costed us 96 around 96000 kuleta paid for the shipping fee sasa tumekuja tuko na machine lazima sasa tuanze kutazitafutia soko mm. eh So 2021 ndo tulianza seriously kufanya big events because now tulikuwa na capacity ya kufanya big events. So na watu walielewa walisikia difference ya hizi machines. When zilifa, zilifika yeah. uh, competitors wengine walisema utapata soko embu soko yake ya hii vitu hakuna hii vitu za Nairobi. Yeah. Kawaida tu lakini unajua inakuvunja vunja but you say ah si zimekam sasa yeah. ni zangu. Yeah. Mbaya mbaya tusonge. Yeah. So the first gig we did we did sana na kahawa. We oh. didn't charge them. Yeah it's an event that they do on a weekly basis every yeah. friday yeah. so niko tuko approach kuambia uh, next friday because mnafanya event mm. si tuwashikilie yeah. uh, let us uh, sponsor you event ya yeah? yeah, friday mimi yeah. tawaletea sound tawaletea ma dj yeah. nyinyi hakuna costume na inka so we can sound marketing yeah. too yeah. and then i talked to two, two, two of uh, my dj friends mm. dj amedo and dj karil mm. very nice djs Eh yeah. kwa kuna shot kona nayo tumepatiwa sana na kahawa next week aina do yeah. mnaweza come tu mcheze muziki kaniambia aina pressure yeah. so nikamwambia ah hiyo ni job ambayo tunaenda ku market ku test equipment na pia tukiji market ya hizi equipment zimekaa mpya yeah so hiyo show kufika tuikaipiga so tumeipiga wanani mm-hmm. wako pale watoto wengi ni wako ole watoto wengi ni wa rueka wa mm-hmm. embu college embu university mm-hmm. wako pale wamekuja wame realize eh hey, kuna sound iko hapo inapiga mbaya Yeah. So wakienda shule freshers nani wanakuwa propose kwa meza ni sisi. Yeah, audio pro audio pro. Yeah. So tukapata from there tukapata uh, Embo College uh, freshers party yao. Yeah. Tukapata Embo University tukapata Rueka. Yeah. 
na pia sasa wasio kaanza kuona hizo machines nje yeah. zikiwa kazi zikiwa kazi zikiwa kazi na clients wakaanza ku impress yeah. that is how tukaingia kwa soko wow eh yeah. so na hii hi time yote mlikuwa na any any challenges sasa venye mmekama hamna do ama kuna do mlibakisha ah uh, hakuna do tulibakisha because naweza sema um, hata the, the 15k ya mwisho ya kulipa the shipping company nilikopa yeah. Oh. Eh nilikopa nilikopa mzae. Silikuwa yeah. najua kuna kapesa. Nikamwambia mzae oh, ni aje yeah. nipatie 15 kuna kitu nataka kufanya nita refund. Nilimwambia yeah. actually nilimwambia nita refund na 3 weeks. Yeah. Eh which in the refund na 3 months. So <laughs> <laughs> No no so ah yeah. uh, uh, una do usha mm. spend yote machines zimekam. Ziko wembu ndio hizo unaangalia. Yeah. So ni marketing. So idea ka kam uh, online. Let's do online marketing. Eh yeah. excuse kila mtu ni WhatsApp, kila mtu ni status, kila mtu ni Instagram. Mm. Let's tuanze tuna online marketing. Mm. Eh tuko na photo tuko na photographer anaitwa Melvosa hii. At that time I used to borrow camera ya bisti yangu. Yeah. Alikuwa na um, AD D3 3D Nikon. Mm. Nikon. Nikon ama ni Canon. Ni Nikon. 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 Yeah. Eh Nikon D3300 yeah. I think. Oh okay. Eh hata yeah. sikoni make ram vizuri. Mm. So nilikuwa naomba mm. tukienda job napiga professional photos piti. Na kuja mm. photoshop pale na ziongeza light kidogo, yeah. naweka ka logo, alafu yeah. na post. Yeah. So wasema kaanza kuchiki. Ah, au ni wasi serious. Elewa? Au ni wasi serious. So atukuka sana tukiwa tumesota. Job zilianza ku flow. Job zilianza ku come. Na up to date job zina come. Wow. Uh, job zina come. Eh, yeah. yeah. tuliji package to be different and uh, tuka flow na flow. Yeah. Yeah. Na sasa sasa ushafika hapa sasa. Yeah. Like sasa ukiangalia like uh, backwards. Maybe kuna client una feel maybe hawaja ushaifanyia maybe client unasikia haja hajaridhika. Hey, kuna clients. Kuna clients to clients. Hawaja mm. muita clients clients. Ni yeah. client at the end of the day. Yeah. Kuna wale clients uh, out of Shikangi. Hata mm. I, I know you have encountered such a client. Uh, yeah. Ato ato mpigie foto aje zinakaa fit aje lazima atakuwa yeah. na bat eh yeah, anasema sijui yeah. amekuwa mnaona na ndiye na ndiye mnaona ndiye tu amenona unaona so kuna wao clients kuna wale pia kukuosha do unakutana kulipa deposit but akumalizia ile nyingine oh yeah. anaanza story na kuchenga ashiki masimu mm. so ku, kuna those type of clients but uh, as, as you grow in experience kwa industry mm. unajua how to handle them yeah. uh, a, a bit in a, in, in a bit in a, in a nice way let me say in a nice way yeah eh, in a nice way yeah. eh, kama for us we came up with packages yeah. like ukija kwangu na uko na event ya wasesu mbili mm. na kute through what entails sound ya wasesu mbili yeah naona so ukitoka pale uko na clear picture of what una expect yeah uko na watu wa 5000 na kute through we understand what entails sound ya 5000 people yeah na leo mm. yo so u, u, wale clients wa kutotosheka mm. unaanza na naye mapema Awanza ni na ile siku umemaliza job ndio anakuambia hata sound haikuwa fit. Unaelewa? Yeah. Umeanza mm. na yema pema. Kuna place uliniambia sasa ukikamu ulikuwa underdog. Mm. Sasa nini umedu sasa ndi wewe ndi unaongewa all over. Uh, Tunaongewa all over. Eh yani kila mtu audio pro, audio pro, <laughs> audio pro. Like, yani, jina imeshika ile mbaya. Uh, sijui. Acha nikwambie mimi hata mimi sijui. Mm. One ni blessings. Wacha tuseme ni blessings. Because can can ko pray, mu pray sana. Mu pray sana. Blessings are God. Uh, God may come through. God may come through. Vimeja sana. Mm. Alafu pia una make sure job unafanya yote ya client ipatie 100. Ah. Wacha hata yeye abaki akijiuliza nimelipa hiyo do kweli kwa hii service? Eh. Yes because places nyingi nyingi tunanga mpaka wase utuliza nyinyi wase wa Nairobi eh umetoka Nairobi but sisi wase wa Nairobi sisi wase wa Nairobi ni vile tunawapatia the same level of professionalism ambayo unaweza get kama unge outsource sound from a bigger sound system provider from another county like Nairobi eh yes but still kuna watu wa Nairobi hawajafikia eh, kuna watu na... kind of sound hawajafika kuna wengi sana eh. Eh. ni kujituma tu make sure tu client ako satisfied client akiwa satisfied mm. uko sure referrals will come Uh, from from that client. Na uko sure huyu ni client ambaye akiona an event in future ni wewe ataita. Mm. Unaelewa? So una, una make sure wewe umeshika na umeweka hapo. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Wewe Ni, wachini. ni so many events. Yeah. Na nasikia sound zingine eh manzi ni mbaya mbaya. Mm. But sijui 
yenyu kuna vile mtu akiingia tu kwa event yenyu anasikia eh manzio sound the quality of that uh, sound hata before mbai hizi vitu zingine mm. mpya before bado mtu alikuwa akisikia kuna a difference kuna, difference, kuna ka, yeah. ka difference si move si songa na technology yeah. na napiga pia pia sorry pia mosema you are as big as your dream mm. kama dream yako ni speaker mbili mm. make sure speaker mbili mm. ziko fit for speaker mbili oh, okay yeah. kama dream yako ni kuwa na sound nation na mo sound uh, homeboys mm. the big names we, we know in our country mm. make sure pia level yako at that time iko as good as that level unaelewa yeah yes yeah. so kitu noma watu fanya ni watu wanachukulia hii industry ikiwa a very quick way of making money yeah. umekuja na speaker ah sama ameenda nazo nimetengeza ngiri 10 yeah. hizo speakers na need maintenance hizo speakers na need uh, some drivers ambazo za ku upgrade ndio ka sound better kidogo yeah. so if you don't invest back to ebiz yeah. you plow something back to it yeah. umenunua ka, ka drive rack umenunua ka crossover yeah. umenunua ka equalizer Yeah. Kwa ku pimp tu ile sound ambayo ilikuwa nayo. Ile ile tu lakini sasa sasa hii ukika equalize inatoka tamu kidogo. Ukika ka, uh, ka crossover inakuwa base inakuwa tamu zaidi. So uh, kuna ule ambaye amenunua tu speaker mbili na nataka survive nazo na azipanish zifanye job ya wase thao zikiwa speaker mbili. So at no point will that sound ever be nice. Oh okay. yes. Eh ana strain. An, una strain na, na bado haujaibembeleza ni kama gari. Yeah. Ukinua gari ukika tu chrome gari ukafiti zaidi sio? Mm. Ukika tu migu tuzuri. Yeah. Ukipika fanya ka paint ka nice gari mm. nakapoa sio? Ni ile ile gari ni wing road. Yes, ni wing road. Lakini kuna ule ya kuna wing road. Na kuna ule ya kuna wing road kama ya Sam. The same color but yako meka tu migu tuzuri sio? Mm. Wewe zembe watu yangu ni Mercedes. Ni ni Mercedes. Ni Mercedes. Ni ile ya Sam. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. ni ni kujua sawa niko na wing road nitafanya nini wing road ikafiti mm. niko na utu hizi speaker mbili ni nini nitazifanya zi sound poor oh. yes mm. that is the trick so kuna wale ambao walikuja kwa kwa comfortable inaleta do wacha iendelee kuleta do aiongezi anything aifanyie anything wengi hata wa survive kwa soko eh. wana nzanga wana tap out wanafunga wanaenda huko oh yeah so from uh, ushama liza sasa hiyo story ya sound umefanya mm. umefanya eh out of sound sasa kuna anything else uh, unafanya right now si we are tunasemanga we are a 360 degree events company oh okay. ukija kwetu mm. uh, anything event mm. si to sort yeah eh, tunafanya lighting mm. tunafanya stage right now kuna mpya tume introduce tunafanya screens mm Mona? yeah and uh, we don't do tents but yeah. if you come to us na uko na event ambayo setup yake inahitaji tents we have very nice service providers ambayo tutaku recommend tu wewe yeah yeah so basically we uko na event ukikam tu kwa audio pro mm. ah utatoka with all the answers and all the solutions tuko na some years of experience in, in this industry so yeah utakuwa sorted so the biggest event moi fanya mhm eh yeah. enjoy <laughs> fanya biggest eh <laughs> yeah. He mm. we have done several big events with the biggest was actually Rotary Sunshine Rally. Mm. Rotary Sunshine Rally is an annual event ambayo fanyika every year. Sorry, it's, it's an event that happens every year. Uh na iwa ina, ina cover the Mount Kenya region. The mm. Rotary clubs in Mount Kenya region. Mm. They do an event for the physically challenged uh, persons. Mm. Children, adults wana leta ngo wote into one one field tunawapigia muziki yeah. just a fun day for them so the, the biggest we did was uh, rotary sanction rally because it incorporate a rotary club of embu rotary club of uh, taraka niki rotary club of meru rotary club of nkopo nkobo sorry mm. rotary club of uh, nanyuki yeah. rotary club of nyeri i think morana too if i'm not wrong yes mm. So it was an event that brought uh, on board like uh, 2000 around 2000 plus physically challenged person that uh, Karatina University Kirinyaga sorry Kirinyaga University eh, apart across the river eh, Kirinyaga University eh, apo Kutus yes apo oh. kona apo tu yes, oh yes, yes, yeah yes. Kirinyaga University we have done uh, the 50th anniversary at Dumen Orange eh. 
uh, last year we did our own event called Kichakichaka Festival. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, that is yeah, also a, a big event yeah. for us. Is it okay that we 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 did our Toto Fun Day? Yeah. Our Toto Fun Day that was in uh, during the month of April, the, the past April. But do your event? Yeah, it, it, it's it's they they are our clients. Oh, okay. uh, they yeah. are our clients. We are mm. we are their service providers when it comes to stage lighting and uh, sound. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes. The worst event. <laughs> the worst is not going to be The worst event. Mm. We, we, we can't call it worst because client are going to be there. They are going to be For us, we have to make sure there is a hiccup. Yeah. But the client should never know. Yeah. That, is our, that, that is our rule. That is our rule. Watch us to stress, watch us to sweat. Yeah. But the client should never know. That could be a hiccup. At an event, you can't be sounding like you are poor. But you can't be what happened behind the scenes. Ah. So the worst one that happened was, um, was in Embu University. For, for, um, and I hope I will ask you, but how could you? How could you? We didn't know they have a problem with power. Oh. Their yeah. power is strong. Yeah. It means that they demand a lot of power. Eh, uli niambia sijui kwa sometimes mnakujanga na lorry ya. Sasa ni utakuja na generator for power only. Yeah. So si tukafika kwa event and then tukavutiwa steamer. And we tested the sound. Kumbe mchana mchana tukitest na client hata kile pale. Ili sound poor sana. Because usage ya power iko iko sana. Because you are tunatapiwa tu moto from their source. So usiku event inaendelea unaangalia we have a gadget that shows us the, the power vile power power ina come before sasa zinge kwa equipment mm. so our, our equipment demand uh not less than 235 not less than 235 v yeah na <laughs> tuko hapo inaanza kusoma 170 what so msek shout kwa mic msek shout kwa mic ama msanii ak shout kwa mic kuna amp zinazima because as jai moto so sharp unasikia kuna kuna side zimenyamaza na kuna side zinaongea because moto imeshuka imeshuka we had to survive with that power the whole night na hakuna kitu hectic kama hiyo because you have to sacrifice some speakers unazima zingine una work na zingine ndio at least upunguze the demand of power ambayo inahitajika kurun the equipment what yes so hizo ndizo zile worst scenarios ambazo sisi tunakutana nganazo so these days when we, we are doing big events we have to run with the power generator eh uh, so unaweza semaji in a nutshell about uh, the whole journey yako sasa ya the whole journey ni in a nutshell mm. sasa iko in a, in a world where iko open to type zote za busy. Yeah. Mm. Sasa hii eka tu social media, weka kazi yako ni kufua duve, you'll get clients. Kitambo enzi za tuki grow up hiyo haikuwa job. Uh, by the way. Ndio. Mm. Sasa hii unakuta mi kwangu siwezi fua duve. Kwa isto kuna kuna mama ako na washing machine. Na get? Yeah. Kuna mama ako na washing machine mm. ambaye atanilipisha 300 and fully duve. Yeah. Na kuna clients. So for now all I can say If you have a like dream, no matter how small it may look, ukishikilia tu your dream na na run with it, it will work eventually. Yeah. It will work and it must work eventually. Bora wewe ni hard working on trust in God. Lazima zita go through. Mm. Uh, please give up. Mm. Sasa hata wewe unachukua video tu anairusha YouTube anapata followers na YouTube inamlipa. Mm. Sasa everything you can make money with with anything. Kuna ule ni mama alikuwa anapiga nduru. Wewe alipiga nduru na chekia lilipi mpaka trip ya kwenda coast. So yeah. you, you can make a living by doing anything that you love doing. Yeah. Tuko kwa society, sorry to say we are living in a very lazy society. A society where if you can be able to some unapenda movie. Eh, nikwambie niaje, mimi nafanya nga delivery za movie home. Mm. Wewe piga simu, mimi nitakuletea movie na flash. 
utanilipa tu extra 50 bob ya ndudhi uta get clients because uta kwa home umeona season moja yeah. na unataka kwenda season 2 hautaki kutoka kwa hao oh yeah utapiga tu simu na italeta kwa hao yeah. umsi amekusort na ame make out of you yeah. yeah so we can make money out of anything that we think you think you love doing bora yeah. tukwe smart na utumie hii social media in a nice way alafu nao finally kuna job fulani umepewa recently yeah. uh, what is it about well, throughout you pro uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ranked as one of the business community wa embo so the kenya national chamber of commerce and industry embo chapter uh, mm -hmm. was having the elections uh, during the month of may and i was fortunate enough to be elected by the business community who are a representative of the of the youth in the chamber of commerce mm -hmm. so you and your post mpya ambaye niko nayo yeah eh, na, na, na i like because i, I know in it grow in it in another aspect of leadership mm. so i'm um, two months and i'm loving the journey yeah. yes yes anze nimefurahi by the way nashukuru pia hii story yako ni very inspiring hata mimi me inspire yeah. and uh, i hope that somebody out there pia amekuwa inspired by your story mm. and naweza uh, kuambia tu endelee ku grow that god endelee ku expand endelee ku bless Ashkuru. that uh, unaweza pelekata sound outside the country hatujafika yeah. hatujafika our dream our dream is to to do Kenya to do East Africa yeah uh, this, this is something that uh, i usually pray god and say that i will do it until the day i'll go six feet under yeah yeah hii kitu ndafanya until until ni dead yeah. because doing events is, no event is like the other event wewe do yako hii wiki hata wewe umefanya shooting ni tofauti na ile shoot utafanya next week Yeah, so definitely. every event is different with its own share of challenges. Mm. You could solve these challenges and could solve those problems for our clients to to party a happiness. Yeah. Sisi kama wewe. Oh, yes. Ah, thanks pia Sam for yeah. for me host. Mm. Nasema ni asanti. Na, na pia kama kuna wasewa busy pale nje na waja join the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Ni gawe encourage mm. sana 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 sana. Mm. Just be a just be a member. Uh, just be a member of uh, Kenya National Chambers of uh, Kenya National Chambers of Commerce and Industry. Unaweza ingia tu Google Google uangalia what what we do yeah. and uh, you can call me or dm ndaku ndaku recruit oh <laughs> yes yes ndaku recruit na before that tumalize mm. kuna your handles mm. the social oh, media yeah. ah social media handles yeah. social media handles ndao patia za job yeah. eh uh, atuko twitter we are only on uh, whatsapp uh, not whatsapp facebook yeah and uh, instagram as audio pro entertainment Yeah. simple as that audio mm. pro entertainment ingia tu pale like page yetu uh, check nini tunafanya ukiwa pale, uh, pale uta get story because mm. you can be able to to see where we started and where we are right now because our story is there since the time that uh, we started 20 around 2018 when oh. we started audio pro seriously oh okay. yes 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 yes, yes. Oh. Uh, so reto pale you can mm. check out double tap like comment mm. uh, tashukuru Oh yeah. nice. And then for DMs you can DM me if you want to do any bookings if you want to know more about Audio Pro. Mm. You can call or DM. Yeah. Uh, my personal number is 0726 569 150. Okay. Spenangia job because nili noya job and then nika realize wasi hata wapigangia job wanapiganga tu yangu. Yeah, yeah so acha tu flow tunayo hiyo. Sasa unless iko ya job sasa alafu ingine. Iko ya personal. Na ni ngogo. Ah sasa basi yeah. thank you guys for watching. Uh, that has been Uh, Ken Wanga and uh, mpatie ni job mpatie ni job na mimi mnipatie subscription <laughs> msubscribe hapo kwa nini uh, follow share with your friends mm. watu watu wengine pia wapate kuwa uh, inspired yeah.